Hello and welcome to this video on compound shapes. So in this video we're going to be looking at the area and perimeter of some compound shapes and then we're going to be looking at some past paper questions um, around this topic. So first of all I'd like you to do the area of this shape and I also just use this as a chance just so we know what a, what a compound shape is. So a compound shape is where you've got um, two or more polygons that have been combined together. So in this case, we've got this rectangle and we've got this triangle here. So um, these have been put together, which forms this compound shape. So I'd like to pause your video now and have a go at the area of this. Okay, so if we look at the rectangle then, that's seven times five, which is 35 centimeters squared. Then we've got the triangle, which is half times five times four to get 10 centimeters squared. And then if we add those two together, we will end up with 45 centimeters squared for our total area. So all you've got to do when you're doing the area of a compound shape is split it into the two um, individual polygons. If you then work out the area of each polygon and then add it together. Okay, our next example, then I'd like you to do the area and perimeter of this shape. Okay, let's make a start on the area. And so um, before we carry on, it's quite useful on this to work out the missing sides first. So we've got a couple of side lengths that we don't know, like we've got this one here. So to do this, we need to look at the sides that are parallel to this. So we've got this 10 centimeters at the bottom. And then we've got this four centimetres here that, well, the four centimetres runs parallel to the 10 centimetres there. So because all of that's got to be 10 along the bottom, so that all of this is 10 from here to here. And then we've got four. So from there, from this arrow here to this arrow here, it's four centimetres. If we do 10 take away four, that will tell us that this side is six centimetres. And then here we're doing that nine take away five this will tell us that this is four centimeters just here so that will then help us to do the both the area and the perimeter so let's have a look at the area first so if we do nine times four we get 36 so the way i've split this is i've done it down here you can split it another way as well but uh, i'm just going to show you this one way um, then we do six times five to get 30 and if you add those together you'll end up with 66 centimetres squared for your total area. Now your perimeter is exactly the same as it is um, if you're doing just a normal shape, a normal polygon. You've just got to add together all of your sides. So obviously you need to know the length of every side, which we worked out on the previous, on the previous question. So then all you've got to do is add them all together. So you've got four, add nine, add 10, add five, add six, add four. And that will tell you that your perimeter here is 38 centimeters. Okay, so we're now gonna take a look at just a couple of past paper questions. I think these are from some Edexcel papers. Um, so we'll have a look at a couple of those before the end of this video. Okay, so first one then, so we've got a nice context-based question here. So it says, this diagram shows the plan of a field the farmer sells the field for three pound per square meter. Work out the total money of, amount of money that the farmer should get. So we've not only got to do our area here, we've got to do something with that area. Okay, so we've got the, got the fully correct working out for this all written out nicely. So we've got, um, shape a here so this has been split so we've got this rectangle at the top so that has an area of 7500 meters squared then if we look at the triangle this has got to be 70 because that's 70 and that 30 make 100 so 70 times 85 divided by 2 will tell you the triangle has an area of 2975 meters squared if we add both of those together we get 10475 meters squared and then all you've got to do is times that by that three pound and that will tell you 
that he's going to make £31,425 from selling his field because he's getting £3 for every square metre, for each one square metre. OK, final question then. So this time we've got a rectangle inside a triangle. Um, and we want to know the area of just the grey part, the grey shaded part of this triangle. And here is your solution for this one. So A then is that rectangle, which is five times five times three, which gives you 15. The whole triangle is 10 by 12, um, which is 120. And then it's been divided by two there. But um, whoever's written this working out has written 10. So that should say divide by two there, which will give you 60 um, centimeters squared. And if you then take away the rectangle, from the triangle so we're taking that whole triangle we're taking the rectangle away that will give you 45 centimeters squared which is just the area of this gray part of the triangle okay and that's it for this video so thanks very much for listening please hit subscribe and there'll be loads more videos coming your way thanks very much bye bye